you may be a hero in your family in the world you must be a fan of your wife suppose suppose if you say my wife is not like your wife if she, if your wife is not my wife like my wife you have to make her like her sometimes i used to say my wife is very beautiful every dress you know every dress she wears i would say this is so beautiful so every cloth i will say so beautiful sincerely and the people will look at me your wife is beautiful so you say it i would say hey what is your husband's job prophesy make her make your wife as beautiful if she is if she is little darker you say though you are black so you are beautiful amen if she is very ugly say you are very beautiful by faith faith is the evidence of things not seen so even if you don't see say you are beautiful you are beautiful you are beautiful you are beautiful after 2 3 months she would be terribly beautiful equal to my wife definitely not higher yeah because my husband keeps prophesying so your see, wife cannot become actually, higher actually actually i honestly tell you what you speak as a husband you have the highest authority over your wife amen. in the spirit not in shouting amen la bara baha tere mere mere ten tere mere hese many many husbands are exercising authority i am your husband listen chalega nahi hai that will not go take first spiritual authority how are now go before her shandala bati anda that's not i am talking about walk in that the that you do alone in the bathroom <laughs> yeah walk in the spirit walk in the spirit and you are created in god's image creator you are a creator he is a bada creator you are a chota creator Amen. He is a great creator. You are a small creator. First chapter, God created everything by prayer. Prayer by complaining. Ah, oh, it's everywhere dark, everywhere empty. Oh, wife, your brain is empty. very dark no order disorder did he say that he looked at everything okay i am a creator let there be light light came <laughs> same thing first chapter so what happened elephant same sound you heard my bopal seminar horse baby cry like a uh-huh. dog baby box like dog parrot baby eh huh? kili 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 ki ki kili ra uh, cat baby mia so god said all babies speak like the mother and father my baby must speak like me so what happened what happened he said no light lord light no let there be you know the hebrew word two two word light be light was light be light was 
so he created everything by speaking water yes sir go there yes sir your come here second chapter when god created man and women he expected them to command prophesy so he said you name adam lion it became a name so i tell you what do you expect from your wife very beautiful write it very healthy write it very submissive write it beautiful singing voice write it nice tooth teeth write it but if you write right skin skin tooth you are not a, your value is wrong but when you when you write it then every day look at her and say you are beautiful <laughs> say you became so nice nice and nicer and nicer and nicer speak it glory to glory you are going from glory to glory i have never seen you like this what happened you are growing into so matured woman you are do it for 30 days continuously first two three days the response will be very cold ah what happened <laughs> suddenly what do you want from me <laughs> don't give up don't give up just say anna said 30 days no 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 don't say that that you only say don't that in tell your her. mind you only in your mind in your mind you yes we and you know when she says why what happened don't say see how you are see how you mistrust me see wah, 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 wah. nothing like that no just the positive don't say it 40 days is very beautiful or mandalam in in siddha doctor 40 days if you take that's your course they will say so start after 30 days if your wife doesn't change a bit come to me and tell me anna are you a man of god i will stop preaching no more i am a preacher you know why you are not speaking just to encourage her or to cheat her you are prophesying you are a husband husband in the old testament before prophets came priest came husbands played the role of a priest and a prophet abraham prophesied to the children and the wife speak it your family will become a mini heaven when that comes when a family become a heaven from the heaven the rivers will go and bless the whole world so join your fan club as a fan club member of your wife make her your queen she will make you your king make her heroine she will make you hero when you make her a zero she will make you a zero what you sow you reap with this introduction i sit i wanted to sit there and listen when i started my wife said i want you to sit with me i said i am not going to preach but i want <laughs> my wife you know <laughs> you know why she is mocking you know why she is mocking she always knows when i take a mic i will not finish no it's it's not when he takes a mic you know you know what is the reason 
you remember when Jesus saw the people? Jesus kept talking, 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 talking three days. He didn't even notice that they didn't eat. So this man, he's like Jesus. That's why. In those days. Like Jesus. That's why. I know that. That's why. In those days, minimum I used to preach per day, seven to eight hours. Morning four, evening four. There are times I preached at day time from 11 to 98. So understand Ezekiel now. That is why Ezekiel now was used. Already apple become a juice. <laughs> so that's why I avoid people. I avoid preaching. So I have poured out so much. So now the team has become very powerful. My wife became very powerful. Yesterday, my wife was scolding me, rebuking the devil to get out of me. Not out of you. Stop talking. Stop me from talking. I said, Benita, you, Alex, Sudha, you are all very high level preachers. My message is so low. I repeat, I joke, I play. And my wife was very serious. I told Prince, Prince, Anni, Alex, Sudha, they speak very high level. You know, because uh, everything is substance. I will look at the face and find the lowest person in the crowd and I will dilute, dilute, dance, joke. So I sometimes when I listen to them, I feel, why should I preach? These people are shining much more than me. So my wife said, no, it's the devil who gives you such a thought. So she started giving me a very big lecture. Your message changes people. Watch when you preach how people are. What when we preach? You, you know what happens? You know what happens? I said, what yeah, happens? when I preach, the simple crowd will say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Intelligent people like Germans will think, what is it? is repeating again and again. <laughs> You know, our, in our ladies' school, we, one month, all of us minister to the ladies, and my husband comes in the last week. And in the last week, he picks everything. He knows everything. So we listen. We say, what did we do a whole month? Still, this problem is there, this problem is there. He comes one time, and he ministers and plucks out the problem. So that's a very different anointing. What to do? Okay. It's my better husband. that I praise her, she praises me. That's better, no? Better problem. Then I attack her, she attacks me. <laughs> I don't know, two times I came to you, the two times only about husband and wife. I don't know, it is a school of the Holy Spirit or family seminar. <laughs> Actually, today I 100% I didn't want to come today. I didn't tell my wife, but because my wife preaches, I came, and uh, so please, married people, first, 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 before the ministry, set right your family, let God do the miracle in your family. Then, then you will have tremendous harvest, tremendous victory, tremendous miracle. Your children will have miracle. Finance will have miracle. Unmarried people don't get caught up with their wrong person, looking beauty, hairstyle. That will not work. Hairstyle will go with one shampoo. <laughs> so never look at beauty. Never look at such a word. Oh, I miss you. Three months you are far away. I tell you, that's a pakka lie. <laughs> Revelation came. <laughs> Anna, you don't know about my person. I am a prophet. Check it. If not today, one day you will cry. I don't want you to cry. Wait upon the Lord. Pray in tongues 
for the future partner i never gave 10 point my wife should be i never wanted to marry when people started telling me i just said lord i don't know i pray in tongues holy spirit knows what to pray for my wife so many prophets prophesied this is the girl for me god told them about me not to me <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know who falls into such traps? The ones who don't have their own personal close relationship with Jesus. They will fall into such traps. Every prophet who comes prophesies another girl for you. How many will you marry? I beg you, never marry anybody because somebody prophesies. Anna, when you prophesy, no. Number one, I will not prophesy. Even if I know, I will not prophesy. <laughs> because that is something you have to hear 100% sure. And don't tell me, Anna, I had a vision. I am marrying that girl. I used to say it's not a vision, V-I-S-I-O-N. It's a vision. What you wish will well. Never believe the dream. If you think about her in the daytime, nightly she will come and smile. Never believe, put some sign. If she is a woman for me, tomorrow she must wear a yellow dress. 100% the devil will give her yellow dress. Never put any, any condition. Make your heart blank white paper. Let God write the person. You say, yes, Lord. I don't know why I am again and again. I never even imagine. You know why? See, I, we want to give him this microphone. He says, no, 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 I don't need it. <laughs> now I will, I will shut up no. my mouth. Now my wife will has to preach. She has a word of the Lord. What a great secret of us. When we hear God, we are here. That's the secret. I, was, I read Bible so many. I don't think any of you would have read Bible like me. Wow, how boasting in the yes, I can. Arrogant pride. But I dare not come and stand without hearing clearly. Even sometimes I get one song. I will sing that song hundred times in a meeting. People get, are you, how many times Ezekiel speaks? I don't care. One song can go deeper, deeper, deeper. That is called ministering God by God. Not I sow him, he sows through me. That's a secret. Bless you. Shall we all invite our Benita Francis? <laughs> See. I am jealous. You didn't shout so much for me. Can we invite our prophet, Dr. Ezekiel Francis? Yena. <laughs> Yena. So, so she is Miss Universe. Before marriage, she had a Miss World Award. After marriage, every year, Miss Universe. So I am proud to say I am her fan. 
He is looking at me very. Where are you from? Why you look at me with? You know what he says? You should not praise your wife so much. That's not Indian culture. I'm joking. I'm joking. So bless you. Please be seated. Kabar mahante. Brahara karabahante. Hindi ko na bahasamba. Lehera prukura babampa. I miss you. Every day some other thing happens. So, how are you? Everybody blessed and happy. Everybody going from glory to glory. Everybody feeling more the heavenly atmosphere inside. Inside, the full peace has come. Still some disturbance. Still some tortures in your mind. No, Hallelujah! See, kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's the atmosphere we should live in life long. Amen. Amen. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Nothing more to touch our mind. Nothing of this person said and that person said and this person. What will they do while I'm here at I Papa? No more of these tortures. Amen. You understand? These three months. You switch it off. Take it, take it, take it. These three months never bother about other person. You, God. After three months. All your life, you will see the result of these three months. So don't waste these three months, please. Don't don't think about other person. Don't think about family, married people. I talked so much about married marriage, but two more months, you must live like bachelors. Don't call your wife. <laughs> If she is very angry, you say Ezekiel told me. Use the satellite connection. My father always used to say, you know, when we couldn't, I'm traveling somewhere, we couldn't reach one another. My father used to say, we use the satellite connection. That means we pray and she prays and God just talks to no, the two of them. You talk, but don't get them in your mind. Three months with the Holy Spirit. I promise you, not. In the class time, the moment class over, connect with the Holy Spirit much more than here. After three months, the whole life you will see the result. Everybody say three months. Three months. Time of sowing, God's word, drinking God's spirit, connecting heaven. After three months, my life. Would be a life of reaping, blessing, family blessing, miracle, victory. Please, 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 please. After the school, don't feel ah. When I was a young boy, if I attend a three days meeting or one week meeting or ten days meeting, if you ask me what did you hear, I don't know. But I used to wait when the teacher will finish, when the song will be over, when the preaching class. They say class over. I will run and sit under a tree and pray hours and hours. Same. Some many times forgetting my food. One time my leader was looking for me to sing a song. Very big meeting. I was a small boy, teen a teenager or early twenty, and uh, where is Isaac? Where is Isaac? Everybody said no. You know what he said? Find out. Big garden, somewhere under a tree, that boy will be crying. That is Isaac. That is why we are here. So three months, I really feel jealous. If in your age, if I had attended a three-year course, if Alex and I would have preached and Benita and I would have preached, now I won't be in Pundi. I would be having my own flight, jet, uh, sorry, rocket, traveling all over the world. I never learnt it. Nobody taught me all these things. So you are much 
she's given to you so the moment class over your connection starts here it start here it connect but the moment you finish you start typing chatting yeah. and come back open it for the preaching that's a wonderful time you know what preaching should be it comes through us also the holy spirit speaks yes. but at the same time you have your connection many times i was sitting in meetings and having two sermons at the same time one sermon from the preacher and one sermon by the holy spirit directly so whatever the preacher said the holy ghost added and things like that no so this connection into this connection you have to come and for me the same thing no being in some meeting okay receiving double <laughs> receiving and then running and taking my bible and sitting somewhere outside same the modern day you know this is a curse of modern day you know they want to listen 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 seminar 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 or book reading book reading that book video this video that video everything confuses but personal connection is missing the unstable no, no substitute for you and god connection yeah unstable women it says though no? never always learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth timoth always Very learning women. no yeah one time if god and you connect that will do much 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 more than years of theological or training school amen so don't blame us i went to the school they are not anointed i am not free <laughs> your freedom is in your connection with heaven and we are nurses we help you to deliver your baby but you and god connect it okay john 8 not did john you understand 8. that as my wife said don't focus on this and that get don't get distracted if there is a sambar is there okay rasam is there okay nothing is there okay alleluia fasting don't miss your chicken don't miss your mutton all your life you ate mutton you know 200 lorries of mutton you <laughs> ate ayyo pa from your childhood pa so that you can eat always these three months you and god fasting and feasting fasting means maybe the pundi food may be like a fasting for you no problem kalangi illa no problem pongal no problem now you go <laughs> father help me to listen <laughs> not to speak <laughs> today you hear a three fold sermon no two plus the holy spirit so three three different sermons here today now you start hallelujah actually um john 8 everybody knows i hope so no 31 32 you know that no john If john 8 31 32 jesus said no if you abide if you abide in my word then you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free amen okay so it's really in your hands as my hubby says we are just your helpers so we are your helpers for what we are your helpers for a life with god amen no it's like we are midwives trying to birth you into a different universe yes the universe of living in the heavenlies Yes. The universe of living this connection with God. For example, you get your phones in the Sunday, no? So last Sunday you told your wife, your family, you of your parents, whoever, you told no, the young boys we said no. So, only your wife. Hmm? Yes. Don't tell us suddenly you have a wife that's why you need the phone, okay? What so, what what? Don't suddenly tell us now I have a wife I need my phone again. <laughs> we want to see the certificate the marriage certificate <laughs> yeah married people yeah make sure whether they talk to the right person <laughs> number 1 number 2 marriage certificate number 3 marriage certificate are <laughs> you how sad it is no because there's too much cheating going on in the body of christ nowadays and too many people get hurt by the behavior of believers 
and most horribly by the behavior and lifestyle of servants of God. So our, our life, <laughs> our life is how Jesus could cry. When Jesus saw the fields white for harvest, how Jesus could cry when he saw the multitudes. They were like scattered, like sheep without a shepherd. They were exhausted, they were wounded, they were desperate, they were confused, they were scattered like sheep without a shepherd. And he couldn't bear it. And he told his disciples, pray for the Lord of the harvest, that he push out, kick out, send out workers into his harvest field. Workers, sir? Workers into his harvest field. So that heart of when God... When Annie speaks fast, yeah. you have to be very attentive. I'll set the microphone up. So that, the heart of God, you know, the heart of Jesus, seeing that people go to hell, seeing that people are desperate, confused, deceived, hurt, wounded, lonely, without any guidance and direction, that heart of Jesus, we both received it. My hubby in India, me in Germany. So that is, this must be the foundation of any ministry. Did you understand? The, the ministry, the first thing I received in India, first thing she received in Germany is a cry and burden yeah. for the world. Yeah. The heart of God. Heart of God. I really wonder, Dambi, when I was 16, 17, I used to go to the mountain, Saturday college finisher, till Monday, um, uh, sun, Sunday night. Now I fear. <laughs> it's a, just a stony <laughs> mountain, far away, no water bottle. With bears and, and, and snakes. Uh, snakes. Now I snakes in Pundi, but fear. And uh, there used to be... Uh, big, big rocks. Inside, I used to hide. And cry, 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 cry. Teenager, twenties. Cry, cry, cry. India, Jesus, you died for the whole world. The whole world perishing. I don't know from where I got that cry. Heart of God. Heart of God. Heart of God. So, the heart of God come in, filled my heart. It's like a dear baby born. When that comes, a powerful ministry you will bring forth. Same my ma. I didn't know my wife. She was in Germany. How she cried? How you cried? Also like that. Seeing the people crying because knowing that you know, Jesus is knocking at so many hearts. And so many people, even believers, are too busy are not interested, have other more important things to do. When he knocks at the heart to pray, to intercede, many Christians, they will say, okay, Lord, later, later, first I do this and then. So I cried and I said, Lord, I always want to be available for you. I see how many unbelievers and even how many believers just reject you, just don't take you serious, just don't have time for you. I want to be always available for Amen. you. Amen. Say it. We want to be always available, Lord. You know why uh, as a teenage boy, I, I got that burden to cry? Sometimes hours. When I come back, Thambi, from the mountain, even in my house, when I prayer time would be 100% tears. Not for me. For others. And my people used to say, see him, see him. I, 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 I couldn't see people. Eyes are swollen. And uh, eyelids, like this, like this. People will say, he cried so much, he cried so much. Like this, I used to flicker. I wonder, the reason is, why you don't cry is, Something has filled that place. See, if I can carry 100 kilo, if you already put the extra 50 already, the remaining I can only put 50. 
the volume when your heart and mind is free from your own worries your own future your own wife your own husband your own problem the more you vacate the more god says okay there is a place i put my burden when that comes you are a qualified minister of god as my wife said i can't walk in a street with smile when i walk 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 when cinema is over cinema theater people come when i see the crowd i used to cry cry tears will roll all are going to hell all are going to hell they will be for eternity not for 1000 year not for 10000 year oh, they will be crying all the time ayyo that cry now we know bina issue sare log narak log jayenge hallelujah hallelujah ba now everybody will go and burn in the hell fire hallelujah we will be in heaven hallelujah when somebody says like that i used to get so angry and i want to break his tooth how will you all are going to hell you know the truth but there is no feeling why no feeling your feeling was already occupied with worldly feeling or demonic feeling as my wife said it everybody say father father i open up i open vacate up. my heart vacate 100% free for you 100% let free. your heart be downloaded download. in my heart to my heart you cry through me you, you weep through me you, you see people through me people. i am available this is called surrendering this is called yielding this is the foundation of a christian life this cannot be taught this can be experienced by yielded vessels you know one of the greatest hurts i ever experienced was the brother of a mighty man of god talking about his daughter she was doing her studies and i asked what what will she do after the studies he said yeah that depends if she has good grades she can study she can go into university if she doesn't have very good grades she can go to bible school bible school i was so hurt it was not my hurt it was god's hurt no so this is your attitude this is how you see ministry if she's bright enough she can earn money for all of us she can go to into the world she can serve pharaoh if she's too dumb okay then she can go to god it hurt me very deeply very deeply yeah i know yeah so what is your attitude for ministry yes god selects the ones that are broken the ones that are with stuttering lips the ones that say stuttering lips the ones that say i'm too young no like a moses or like a jeremiah no he will select people that have any kind of difficulty in their lives or so many times why because they will not depend on their own strength yes but he will also select the top people he will select the rejected ones like a david but he will also select top people paul says look among you there are not many very high and educated and rich and whatever no the high society of the world not many of them is among you sad no why is it because the high society thinks we can we have god should be thankful when we go sunday to service and we put some little bit of money into that depending on something yeah but a poor man weak man nothing yeah. to depend yeah so god says okay he can depend on yeah. you yeah yeah 
that's why he has chosen the weakest yeah. vessels like you and yeah. me yeah yeah many people like catherine coolman no she said lord i am nothing but if you can use a nothing use me catherine coolman i am a nothing if you can use a nothing use me like that if we can come like that instead of this attitude you know many worship leaders nowadays um i know all of this i have all the ed- uh, singing education and musical education so god can be very grateful and thankful that he has me and that i'm serving him never allow such a kind of attitude in your heart never feel that god should be thankful that you came to serve him never ever serving god is the greatest greatest privilege did you understand the reason god chooses the weak foolish useless nobody failure says you will depend on him 100% but i have seen one danger i just interrupt my wife gave me permission license to interrupt what eli can i interrupt <laughs> elizabeth thank you for permission <laughs> listen people very ordinary useless feeble feeble people god picks them up gives them anointing uses them mightily after some time they also lose their dependability they don't depend now when i sing it would be anointed another reason i want to tell you about ezekiah and my wife i can witness till now even to speak 5 minutes to sing one song we tremble we depend on the holy spirit even now if alex anna says anna come and lead 5 minutes worship you ask him everybody that 5 minutes worship i will say holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit i can't you can you are in me i depend on you and let me not use what i know let me not sing the song that i like you take over me that is there in me for more than 50 years Amen. why i don't preach every day because when i had to teach i depend on the holy spirit i empty my i read so much any time i can open my mouth but i don't depend on my previous knowledge so i say no i need to wait i need to depend i need to hear till now when my wife she is thorough inside she is really genius than me it's not a false humility real she knows the whole world things she knows the bible she has fasted 21 days and all i never fasted 21 day but till now before preaching she's like tense ah, all is tongues 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 she will come to me pray for me i release the anointing holy spirit i i stand back i stand back we stand back you take over see useless people god picks them up anoints them after some time they also don't depend on god they think i know the singers they trust their singing the musicians they can bring the holy spirit by the way they play music oh it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that as a teenager if my leader says sing one song you don't believe me for that i have prayed and cried holy spirit i should not sing you should sing i am not here to give performance people must be blessed so when i sing one song the presence of god people will melt like wax many times when i sing people can't control cry because i learn to depend on the holy spirit 
till now thank god when i become a professional preacher i would say lord stop ministry for me you understand what i talk are you understanding why you look at what did i say the last sentence you tell me you need revelation now to say see first row you are here never allow the mind to go anywhere and listen my wife said it that useless people god picks up no no i am not a useless some people i have seen very high level people they are used by god you know what happened before that he empties them <laughs> completely breaks them completely empties them then they say ah, i can't like moses when he depended on egyptian study he couldn't god made him zero then 80 years stuttering stammer then god said come ah, who am i god said i am amen hallelujah everybody lift your hand and say father father till i die till i die i want to depend on you i want to depend on 100% 100% because because without you without you i can do i can do nothing 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 in any area in any area family life family life physical life, physical life christian life, christian life ministry, life, ministry life, life i can do nothing i can do nothing so till i die till i die i need you i need you i depend on you i depend on you anything that i depend now anything that i depend now i curse it i curse it only god dependence oh, only god dependence hallelujah hallelujah ya tentik see my wife says one sentence i give the explanation see one sentence she speaks such a deep sentence so it needs some interpretation interpretation <laughs> Hallelujah. Kroho shanti kebehese. Karahasa. What God has called us to is to raise ministers according to his heart. People according to his heart. See, if you see Genesis chapter 1, every plant, everything, it multiplies according to its own kind. So, in two different continents god raised both of us in the same way in that way of catching his heart showing us his heart i prayed much for that lord i want to see your heart 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 i want to understand and see your heart i want to have part of your heart burden kind of like funny idea i want to help you carry your burden <laughs> She's okay. praying even now. She's <laughs> praying. I need your heart. Yeah. That is it. Ministry is God's heart. Yeah. Jesus, you show His heart. Yeah. Jesus seeing the sheep scattered, like without a shepherd. Yes. Then He told, "Pray for workers into the harvest field." What does it mean? It means we all should be real shepherds. You remember Ezekiel chapter 33 just make a note and later read it Real shepherds Real shepherds Ezekiel 33 make a note later read it Real shepherds not the ones that take the wool and take the milk and abuse the sheep 34, 34 sorry 34 not these ones not the ones that take 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 use 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 and are cruel and kill and eat and murder and speak negative and cut them but the ones with the heart of god amen that guide and direct a very important part of ministry is to not connect people to you amen. but connect people to him say everybody 
the ministry is ministry not connecting people but connecting to me, to me but to connect them but to connect, connect them to god to god it's a electrician every minister must be an electrician if there is a loose connection if there is a connection cut you go connect a uh, positive negative ah yeah yeah is there any electrician here okay you you yeah, put yeah. it connect it yeah. put a paste yeah. run yeah you have a don't hold it and stand for one yeah. <laughs> connect it switch on it run for another job yeah. yes your minister connects your worshipper yeah. why he sings connect people to god yeah. and finish yeah preacher yeah. shepherd pastor yeah. and he one word said don't connect people to you yeah. but connect people to god after connecting people to god you disconnect <laughs> and go and connect other people how many of you understand that and he is throwing pearls <laughs> one sentence paul says no you have given yourselves first to god and then to us these are the kind of people we want to work with yes you should stay connected with us you should catch our heart multiply our heart into the nations that is a desire we have but we want only people that give themselves first to god and then to us and to us mean paul says this macedonian churches first they gave themselves to god and to us then to us first to god then to us us you know who is that us leadership they connected to god and connected to god given leaders order first god then god's shepherds leaders over me then connect to family everything order and for the ministry no for example if you are praying for a marriage see we will not prophesy this is the wife for you we will not do that but you hear god so if you hear god the wisest thing to do is to come to the leadership yes. and say you please pray about it i feel this and this and this please you also pray about it you ask the lord and if your leadership is happy about it then you can go for it you understand see i told you get connect with heaven connect with heaven connect with heaven but connecting with heaven also includes connecting with god given leaders over you heavenly leadership you tell me all the communication organs where is it in the hand or in the head eyes to see where is it head ear to hear where is it not in the stomach you don't hear from the stomach yeah when you are hungry you <laughs> <laughs> okay smell where is it head not in the hand not in the leg okay where is the taste but so god when you connect with the head god uses his leader to see something that you don't see in the early days when i corrected sudha this is the mistake in you the first word no <laughs> anna no anna no anna you misunderstood anna i am not a ma- anna easily giving up <laughs> no this i see no anna actually she is not a liar she couldn't see after some time one day she said anna i found out what i don't see in me you can see so blindly i take your word when when she came to that level when she listen anni without using her brain 
she became mighty woman of god for that you need god given leaders not not every time preachers visit you go and sit and talk not that connected with you those who watch over you those who are responsible for you those you know they are my god given leaders what is the qualification and i told you the man who listens god you listen accept them as leader there could be thousand leader but god has created prepared one leader for you or one leadership team for you that is safety what you cannot see the leader will see what you cannot smell see anni said when you find a wife when you listen god this is the will of god for me this boy this man this woman after you listen god please share it with your leader and the leader says no i don't see it in my spirit wait go to god lord i think i heard you but the leader doesn't hear you if it is you again and again you talk to the leader wait give him time if the leader repeatedly feels no it's not the will of god you must submit if god has spoken to me that god will speak to the leader the angel spoke to mary you will be a mother of you will be conceived ha huh? all is spirit there will be the son of god will be born did the lord go to the leader joseph did the angel go the same angel went to joseph did she wait for that always god speaks through leaders okay after that to take the baby to egypt did god speak to mary or joseph why joseph was not a real father then why god spoke to joseph leader so god works through his leaders first you listen don't blindly follow how many prophets prophesied me this is the girl that's the girl this is the girl if i have accepted i would be salomon can't take it many people don't understand what is salomon thank god you don't know it total 1000 wife salomon ke and sometimes the ladies came to me wrote to me esekia anna i prayed 21 days fasting and praying the 21st day the lord spoke to me esekia is your husband i cried i am not worthy to marry a man of god god said, said i will make you worthy i will write one word god didn't talk to me sir <laughs> so one girl came with her mother no <laughs> very very interesting yeah. one girl i never uh, talked to her attend a meeting the ladies are some emotional girls some so she attended my meetings i uh, i saw her sometime one day she comes with her mother to my house i tell you when i was a bachelor i suffered so much thank god i have your ring so and the mother came and i said okay come what what and not in chennai from madurai very far how many kilometers chennai to mal 500 kilometers both of them came and the mother said my daughter wants to say some problem something with you generally i don't engage just i took i i took her in just uh, standing in a room and say what is the what is ma what god told you and she says anna 
द लॉर्ड शोड मी इन ए ड्रीम दैट आई एम मैरिंग यू आई थिंक यू आर स्लीपिंग in the younger days i would i was full of zeal i would have slapped her but now i had got matured i said apdi amma is it so okay god didn't talk to me ma it's a devil who gives you such a dream <laughs> very politely very polite my face was so soft god didn't talk to me ma it's a devil will give you such picture can i pray and break that devil's hold <laughs> after that i prayed lord all the devil's dream and vision i break it after that it's not the desire gone that girl never attended my meeting till today i didn't see her <laughs> they can stand like that yeah. when god says then always i have your leaders every leader said this is your life partner every leader told me in fact when i was listening it could be god it could be god because already many told but my counselor i didn't open my mouth i wanted them to hear god one by one by one by one one of my best friend in sri lanka very big man of god in whole sri lanka he call he was so worried are you is he is getting married he has anointing will go very worried one day when he was sleeping god told him who are you to say no i want to make my servant happy another one of my leader another one of my leader when my counselors announced in the meeting he was so angry very emotional man he he said i will touch i will bring this counselors plot i will not allow it he went and said lord stop it stop it stop it night Two o'clock. The Lord's voice he heard. Shut up your mouth. It's my will. <laughs> he shivering and ran to my sister and opened the door. <laughs> what? What? The Lord said, "Shut up your mouth." When God speaks to you something, the same God who speaks to you will speak to the leader. don't be hurry yeah. many such testimonies when you hurry yeah. you will get hagar don't be in a hurry people pray lord let your will be done will be done lord i don't want any desire lord i want to my lord you show me lord in 22 25 27 i think god is not doing let me try even if you are 50 even if you are 60 when all the tooth fall off wait suddenly you will become like sara and husband will come abraham meaning meaning he will renew you and he will give you a everybody say anything that happened to me it should be only for god's kingdom only for god kingdom <laughs> my wife preacher and i'm preacher <laughs> she speaks one word i speak them yeah. you know why she brings such a deep meaning it needs so much explanation that's why i said i am simple they are full of substance <laughs> i am like a kindergarten teacher take one i joke and i say where is the i 
Yeah, where is the nose? Yeah. That's why when I hear Alex, Sudha, Anni, I am saying, what am I preaching? I am preaching to the kindergarten little school. And they preach to the college and the university level. My, husband, my father, you know what my father said? He read both of our books. And my father said, me, you? He said, you hit straight. He comes around, 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 around from all the different areas and catches them so that they have no way of escape. <laughs> he, drills, he drills the one point so deeply into the person that they have no way of escape. My wife and Alex Sudaka, in one hour they can, they can preach 10, 30 points. For me, give me 30 hours to hit one point. But that one point will be drilled in for lifelong. <laughs> no, you I really want to shut my mouth. Different. When my wife speaks something, hey, these people must get it deeper. <laughs> you know why? You know why? Fan, I am, fan, I am, I am called for dumb people. <laughs> No, not you are. Distracted. <laughs> not you. For distracted people, for distracted people. You can say it more politely, say for more distracted people. Not you, you are full of the Holy Ghost. God-like creatures. <laughs>
And the Holy Spirit will show us step by step things that can destroy our lives. So if you have a leader like my husband, he will see the area and he will attack it. And if you get a you leader like my it. wife, she will see the area, she will <laughs> attack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So, and you will defend, and you will be offended, and you will be hurt because no, he misunderstands me. No, she misunderstands me. No, I'm not like that. But if you have the humility to ask the Lord, he will show you. Sudha had that humility. Always after a few days, she came and she said, Anna, I prayed. Anna, you are right. But you know what many people would do? Many people would go and look for another leader. This leader misunderstands me. This leader hates me. This leader doesn't want me to have a happy life. This leader is destroying me, pulling me down, pushing me down. Many people... Don't would, easily change your Christian leadership. They would run away from a God-given leader. Yes, sadly, there are leaders who are very insecure, most of the time, it's by their own hurts, their life story, their background, many times, or the many hurts in the ministry. They raise up people, they raise up people, they trust people, and people take away the worship team, take away part of the church and all that. No, all these hurts that happen in the ministry. Many leaders are hurt. Many leaders are hurt. So they are insecure. Much, very, very much hurt. So if you have the heart of God, if you catch the heart of God, you will even see why this leader became like that. You will cry for that leader. You will say, Lord, use me to comfort that leader. Use me to heal that leader. Use me to be the person, like a Timothy, whom he can really trust when everybody else le left him. Let me be the healing agent. Your spirit, your balm of Gilead, flow through me to heal this man of God. You know how much God will appreciate that? Just like your wife, maybe in the beginning, what do you want from me? Why you change like that? He will feel like that. But step by step, he will be able to more and more trust you. Many leaders, because of so much hurt, it's like the Philistines, they filled the whole well with stones. They blocked the well. They blocked the flow of the spirit. In many leaders, the hurts have done that. So somehow they keep up the ministry and they get harder and harder and the preaching becomes harder and harder. You can see that many times in leadership. God can use you to pluck these stones out step by step. Number one in prayer. Then you must keep your relationship and you must keep your heart pure. If David was instigated to cut a piece of Saul's garment, no? And then his heart was shivering. He was shivering. David, yeah. King David, no? His heart was shivering when he was running away, no? How could I touch the Lord's anointed? I should not have done that, no? So that attitude, you keep it in your heart. And God may keep Please you... Please don't speak against yeah. your leaders. Anything you have negative, yeah. go and talk to him personally. Yeah. Don't spread. As Annie said, David, yeah. he never spoke one word mm. against his leader mm. who was already backslidden. Mm. You remember? Saul already backslidden. Mm. And the demon spirit came. And David sang a song and cast out the devil. This Saul took 3,000 soldiers hunting for the head of David. But still the death, David said, I will not touch God's anointed. Yeah. You tell me, was he a God's anointed man? Already anointing left. Demon came. David only casted out. But still he said, he was anointed once upon a time. Never do that. Another secret I want to tell you, we never talk 
नेगेटिव अबाउट एनी गॉड सर्वेंट्स If you have anything, pray for him, yeah. and pray, Lord, give me time. I can talk. Yeah. Never criticize, yeah. attack God's anointed people. Yeah. One day you will become David the king. Yeah. It's a very difficult situation, no? Because should you stay? and work with him and work for him david could not david had to run away no and he was persecuted <clears throat> so you need to know from god is there a possibility to really restore him can i stay and keep working in this ministry will he again open his heart and really be a blessing if he has already fallen into sexual sin can you stay there can you build up such a ministry so this is something that you need to hear from god but you must keep your heart pure and your mouth shut if that leader has another leader hopefully he has you might have to talk to that leader after talking to your first leader no after talking to this man of god you might might have to expose it to his leadership to try to save him always find out if your leader submits to his leaders if he doesn't have a leader question mark three question marks <laughs> three question mark because all of us need leaders i was under a leader for many years faithfully and one day god said i have a different ministry that was a missionary work and mine was a training ministry first i shared it with him then he and we found out training is not the important first priority there so i left after that i don't know what to do it's a very big story i'm praying 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 that time god said now you need counselors over you when god gave me the baraka vision then he showed me who are all my counselors they are the ones who heard every major decision i heard they said yes we have confirmation they are the ones who said benita is your partner i opened up another thing anna i don't have any spiritual leaders as you say what should i do start praying marriages are made in heaven you believe that yes. marriages are made in heaven even other other religion people say it not i like her she is my wife no everybody must say lord is it the person who you ordain how many of you believe before you were born your partner was selected by god you believe that yes. are he is going to born she is going to born already born so already god are ordained for her you already done so what to do don't hunt for a girl pray for a pray lord who is that person born somewhere in germany i didn't say that <laughs> i didn't say that that person could have been born anywhere you don't know that who is that person lord show me don't say lord i have already selected give me some people fast and pray lord epdiyo would you give me that person lord give me some more lord after marriage some more separate us lord vanda you you know that god promises i will give you who will give you i will give you shepherds leaders over you according to my heart amen 
everybody say leadership is not selected is not selected according to your heart according to your heart but according to god's heart to according god's to god's heart. heart lift up and say father father show me show me the leader the leader you have ordained for me you have ordained for me in jesus name in jesus name <laughs> and he will preach i will lead prayer rakhache <laughs> now actually the word that was on my heart for this sunday now why are you here why are you here why are you here these 3 months i am here because you called me <laughs> thank you for your enthusiasm <laughs> why are you here on this planet actually why are you here in this world amen you know what is the highest calling on this planet the highest calling is to be like jesus hallelujah everybody say my highest calling my highest calling to be like jesus is to be like jesus shout it again <laughs> my highest calling is to be like jesus do you know do you know jesus is smiling from the heaven say it again my highest calling is to be like jesus say do you know you can make him excited by saying such words yeah. my highest privilege is to be like jesus say it my highest, highest privilege, privilege is to be, is to be like, like jesus like jesus my greatest desire is to be like jesus say it my greatest, my greatest desire, desire is to be like is jesus is to be like jesus can you imagine that pa can you imagine that see god had the living word the trinity father son holy ghost the three in one trinity working together from beginning of creation he sent the living word he sent his son down on the earth to be the first born among many brothers brother and means brothers and sisters men and women no so to be the first born and god's expectation is that each one of us should live and walk like the son of god himself wow what a challenge what a privilege what a tremendous responsibility yes Lord. and what a glorious position is there any highest position than this no. nothing higher no to be like david no. to be like solomon no. to be like jeremiah to be like samuel no. what is the highest to be like jesus to be like jesus that is the greatest dream yeah. god has about you yes. and me yes and the invitation for this dream god has given it to every human being on this planet can wow. you imagine wow So his heart is crying and yearning and desiring so deeply for every human being to come to this understanding to come to this knowledge of truth that he has called each and every one into his family. Amen. God's dream for everyone. God's dream. Can you imagine that? Everyone. The world worst murderer. even for him god's dream was this it's, to make him like jesus it still is it still is so the heart of god is crying for those who run like sheep without a shepherd he wants to be a father you know how much of christianity does not have that father connection and father relationship how many christians how many believers don't see the father god as their number one loving leader how many 
So to become like Jesus, Jesus was, was in fellowship with his father all the time. Amen. Before he came into a human body and while he was on this planet, only for a short time on that cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That time he did not call him father. That time he could not call him father. Why? Because the sins of all of humanity, when he took that uh, cup with all the wrath of God, with all the sins of all of humanity, that time the father couldn't bear to see his son with all these sins. In that time, the father turned away the face. So Jesus tasted all of that. He said, my God, why have you forsaken me? But he was again picked up and brought to heaven. There was absolutely no time without connecting with the father. Yeah. Except the time when the sins of the whole world fell on him. Yeah. Just for a short time. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That everybody say. Constant fellowship Constant with the Father fellowship. is God's desire for me. That's God's dream about me. Can I tell you honestly, if people want my fellowship, my time, I feel burdened. Very few I could have deeper fellowship. Because all of us have limit. Can I like to have friendship with a chief minister or prime minister? Impossible. But the God who created heaven and earth gave you an open invitation. Yeah. You can come to the closest possible nearness with me. Yeah. I will not be tired. Yeah. I will be excited. Yeah. If you say no time, what an insult yeah. to what such a loving heart. What a hurt. What a hurt. Yeah. Fellowship. Fellowship. Intimacy. Yeah. Father yeah. and Son, Jesus. And he said, before he came to the world, yeah. born, he had a communication, yeah. fellowship. After in the world, yeah. he said, me and my father are one. Yeah. He said, if you see me, you see my father. So one. And after the resurrection, with the father. Yeah. That is God's dream yeah. for you. You tell me, is there a better dream? Is there a better purpose in living? Is there a better calling? What a privilege. When you say, I am one with God, then all your problems becomes His problem. Your future becomes His future. What a privilege. What a privilege. What a Friend, we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. How many of you know that song? What a privilege to carry every. Think to God in prayer. Everybody say, Father, I say yes to your greatest invitation. My living purpose is to be one with you. That's my passion. 
That's my desire. That's my desire. You are the closest person in my life. You are the closest person in my life. That place. That place is only for you. Is only for you. Nobody. Nobody can ever. Can ever come nearer to that place. Come nearer to that. Can we find a friend so faithful? All our griefs and pains, all our sins and griefs to bear. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Learn this song, learn this song. Can we find such a friend? Can we find such a fellowship, fellow, friendship, companionship? God says, I am willing, I am ready to connect with you, fellowship with you. How many of you will say, yes, Lord? What a uh -huh. friend we have. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all a sorrow share? Jesus knows her every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Tell him, Lord, how can we get such a faithful friend in this world? How can we find such a faithful friend in this world? Who will? Who will? Carry all our sorrows. Carry all our sorrows. Carry all our share all our sorrows. Can share all our sorrows. Even after knowing all our weaknesses. Even after knowing all our weaknesses. One more time. One more. Sing Panlama. Can, can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Come with your load of care. Precious Savior, still are you. Keep to the Lord in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Say it, Father, from today till the last minute, 
even from eternity to eternity even from eternity to eternity my passion my passion is to have deep fellowship is to have deep fellowship with you with you i must have the boldness i must have the boldness to say boldly to say boldly i i and my father and my father are one are one he that sees me he that sees me has seen the father has seen the father that kind of intimacy that kind of intimacy must be my lifestyle must be my lifestyle thank you lord one word you said <laughs> my wife what came to Jesus. speak about like jesus to be like jesus so i interrupted like jesus <laughs> see you know many husband and wives don't like this interruption you know that how many of you love this interruption <laughs> father grant them in jesus name han mara sandara la la see i have my own lakhya ji any voice angelic voice illa have you seen that why the devil is so keen on destroying families because destroying you, families if you look at the criminal statistics almost 90% of juvenile criminals youth no below 18 who fall into any criminal activity come from fatherless homes the devil is trying to take the father away maybe physically at least emotionally at least mentally maybe you have a father in your house but you couldn't connect by that the devil is destroying society you can see even many leaders many pastors very unstable why because there was not a loving father in their house this invitation that God Father is giving to us telling us that he has numbered every hair on our head telling us that Jesus is the way to the father telling us that he sent his only son his own son to open the way to the father is the healing for society it's much more than a miracle ministry it's much more than the healing of a body it is the healing of the deepest inner needs of a human being that connection maybe you didn't have a good heaven uh, earthly father the heavenly father is offering you this connection see this book actually i wanted to in, uh, interview the author of the book today like jesus in purity in prayer and in power like jesus number one purity prayer power the whole the prayer book, is fellowship yeah prayer is that connection connection relationship constantly 24 hours a day paul says pray without ceasing prayer means that connection means that fellowship means he shares his burden You know how many times we pray like what we think God must do. That's a very low level of prayer. Very low level. God, you do what I think you should do. Why not we ask him, Lord, what do you want to be done on this 
planet. What do you want to be done in my life, in my family, in my ministry, in this world? What do you want? You are the creator, no? You will know what is needed. You will know what is the strategy. Why not we ask for his heart? Jesus said we should pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That means, Father, what is your heart desire? Very different kind of prayer. Holy Spirit, Father, you want to heal all of us, not only all of us. You want to make us stable. You want to make us so strong. Yes, Lord. No matter where we came from, no matter how we were pushed around, thrown around, destroyed, broken in our childhood, in society, no matter how we were destroyed, Lord, you opened the way through your own son's blood. You opened the way to a heavenly father. Wow, such a safety, such a security, such a protection, such a wisdom, such a deep, tremendous love. Lord, you opened the way, not only for us, for anyone, for anyone who wants to come to God. Father, that's why you give dreams and visions to many people who are seeking God, showing them Jesus is the way. Father, we want to be like Jesus, who yes. always wanted to please you. Yes, Lord. Jesus lived to please the Father. Jesus lived to do the will of the Father. Yes, Lord. No Jesus, self pleasing, Lord. No self pleasing. No Jesus, man pleasing. Yeah. Jesus Only lived Father to, pleasing. to find out the will of the Father, to find out the desire of the Father. For that, Jesus came. And then to show us the Father, to show us that He's a loving God, a healing God, a delivering God, a multiplying God, a blessing God, a loving God. Yes, Lord. Father, for that, Jesus came. So we want to be like Jesus, pleasing you, desiring to please the Father. Yes, Lord. Watching the Father in fellowship, in communication. Yes, Only Lord. what I see the Father do, that I can do. Jesus, yes, Lord. We that's want what to you do said. Only what our Father do. Yes, Lord. Shaka Tiriona Sika. Bring us into this. Surrender, surrender your life. Yeah. Surrender. Bring us, bring us no into man that. pleasing. Yeah. No self pleasing. Yeah. Only Father God yes, pleasing. Father God, please. What a life it is. What a life it is. When your life goal is to please your Father, then all the other things will be added, 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 added. added, added. Beyond your imagination. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We need it, Lord. We need it, Lord. Oh, Father, show us your heart burden. Show us your cry for humanity. Lord, show us your Share burden. your burden with show our heart. Show us your heart. Show us your heart. Show, show us, Lord, us, how you cry. Show us your plan. Show us your burden. Father, show us. Show us. So, Lord, when you show us just a little glimpse of your heart, our whole life will be consumed with wanting to make you happy, mm. wanting to bring joy to you. Father, wanting to bring joy to you, that must be our consuming life desire. Father, when we find that stability, when we find that Father love, when we find that backup, Backup of a father. I have a heavenly father. I don't need I to fear anything. I have heavenly father. Anything. I don't need to fear anything. He is backing my life. He's backing Hallelujah. my life. Hallelujah. I don't need to fear anything. I, I need, need to fear, fear nothing. Anyone. Know what I need to fear. Amen. I have a heavenly father. He takes care oh. of me. He takes care of my family. He takes care of my health. He takes care of my money. He takes care of my ministry ah, and the future. Yes. What a father, what a father. Oh, Thank you, Paka Tiriya Sheka. What a Jesus, oh, what a Holy Ghost. Say. Father Paul could understand it. He said in Colossians 3, my life, our lives, they are hidden with Christ in God. Amen. Our Everybody life. say, my life. Oh. 
is hidden with Christ in God, with Christ, inside God. My life is hidden, hidden, hidden from the devil, hidden from the world, hidden from the flesh, hidden from sickness. My life is hidden with Christ, in God, safest place. Just see it, taste it, taste it. See keep, it. Keep saying it. My life is hidden. My life is hidden. With Christ. With Christ. With Christ. In God. In God. Just see it in the spirit. Pray in tongues and see it in the spirit. Pray in tongues and see it in the spirit. Your life, My life is, is hidden. hidden. With, with Christ. Christ. In, in God. God. Okay, oh, yeah, your role, your life is hiding with Christ inside God. What a safety place it is. What a safe person you are. Hanga tiriya nakal bal baraka. Yashkat rai lakla brapaka. Yokot roito koshkot raita. Me ma 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 ma. Oh, Hallelujah. Your life, Hallelujah. Life, your life family, your family is hiding with Christ, with Christ in God. In God. Oh, ba, 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 oh, what a stable person, stable personality you can be because your stable father is backing you. You are hidden. Inside the stable God, you're a stable daddy. You are a stable personality. You're a stable husband. You're a stable father. You are a stable personality because your life is hidden with Christ in, in God. God. Oh. You are stable like Jesus. Stable you are strong like, like Jesus. Jesus. You are healthy like, like Jesus. Jesus. You are pure like Jesus. Kanga Tiriana Shika. You have power like, like Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Your oh. life is hidden life. with Christ hidden. in God. With Christ in God. Wow. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> you are not orphaned. You are not struggling alone. You are not fighting the problems alone. <laughs> get the revelation, get the revelation. Your life is hidden with Christ in My God. life is oh, hidden with Christ in God. My life is hidden with Christ in God. With Christ in God. <laughs> Oh, my life is hidden, 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 hidden. Everybody shout it. My life, my future, my spirit, my soul, my body. Is hidden oh, with Christ in God. Ora se karasa karasa, ora baska braba, braba rala 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 rala, toto tayero lo brubo lo brubo lo, yala rala rolo 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 rola baha. Hallelujah. 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 He that touches me touches the apple of God's eye. He that touches me. He's touching the apple of God's eye. Oh, if God is for me, who can be against me? Oh, my life is hidden, hidden, hidden. 
My life is hidden. My life is hidden. My life is hidden. It's not exposed to the devil. My life is hidden. It's not exposed to the world. My life is hidden with Christ in God. Keep shouting. Keep saying the scripture. Hidden, hidden. My life is hidden with Christ. In God. <laughs> Oh, मेरा प्रभु जी आंख है तो मैं अपनी पुतली हूँ और कोई मुझे छूता है प्रभु की आंखी छूता है How many of you know that song? मेरा प्रभु जी आंख है तो मैं अपनी पुतली हूँ और कोई मुझे छूता है प्रभु की आंखी चोता है प्रभु यह मुझ में है आज के उसका डेरा है आख दीवार जैसे ही उसने मुझको घेरा है प्रभु यह मुझ में है एक्चुअली दिस इज ए सॉन्ग गॉड गे मी इन तमिल सो आई ट्रांसलेटेड with my little hindi with others but my friend make it very beautiful but changing some of the sing it what is that prabhu yehova mujh mein hai aaj kal uska dera hai apni aag se mujko hu har dam gere rahta hai practice this practice this i tell you when when people came to take elisha you know how many came great army horses chariots chasing one man you understand imagine if thousand demons come to catch you that means you are a champion so prophetic people are champions the king of syria sent a huge army chariots horses hundreds of thousand they didn't come to stay around elisha they stood the whole city to catch one man that is your power now now you say oh now i understand that's why so many enemies are so many problems ah so many temptations ah oh hallelujah one man of god said if you see the real demon 
in the spirit if your eyes are open imagine when the devil comes you see him really what will happen dar uh, lag no that man of god says when your eyes are open you will be so surprised that the demons look like a small insect before you <laughs> trembling before you because the demons see god inside you <laughs> to catch to catch one elisha tamila lesa elisa but the whole imagine to catch ezekia if the police stands all over pundi and tiruvallur the whole tirupakkam the whole area whom do you think is ezekia <laughs> that's your strength yeah. but you know elisha eyes are open the problem is our eyes are not open the servant came kya karu what to do elisha said he didn't even say lord send the angels he said open the eyes and he saw not only the whole city all the mountains around horses of fire fire horse chariots fire surrounding one man ellas one man blow we i am so big vip ya all around the mountains fiery angels are there and elisha because eyes are open he went and he said whom do you are seeking they said we need elisha come follow me and he singing i will lead you if you follow me can you imagine one elisha all the army behind but they couldn't find real elisha that's called i am hidden with christ in god everybody say i am hidden 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 they are around me but they are searching for me they couldn't find me because i am in a place hiding with christ in god bless you